What's up, Betty Army? Welcome to another segment of In the Kitchen with Betty Twin. Um, we want to say hello to all our new subscribers. Hi guys. Welcome to our cooking segment, okay? We will be talking to you live right now, okay? So comment down below in the comments and we will reply. Okay, so for today we're going to be doing a very keto friendly meal, Ooh. okay? We're going to be making lemon pepper chicken with a cheddar sauce. Ooh. Listen, we're also going to do some cauliflower crushed potatoes Ooh, delectable without the carbs okay we're also gonna have some asparagus on the side Ooh. yes and i'm ready guys this is gonna be a delicious quick and keto friendly meal listen i'm famished and i'm ready to eat so let's get into this grocery list right now okay guys so first on our grocery list is our chicken breast mm -hmm. today we're going with the tyson brand mm -hmm. you can use any brand of your choice next on our list is our cauliflower look how beautiful and tasty this looks guys next we have our asparagus or green fresh crispy asparagus next on our list is our sharp cheddar cheese we have some heavy whipping cream. We have some butter here. We have some scallions, aka green onions. We have some garlic here. We have some pink Himalayan salt. We have some black pepper. We have some lemon pepper seasoning. We have some parsley flakes. And we have some olive oil. So who's head chef today? I'm head chef. Okay, Kira, you better chef it up, honey. Let's go. So first things first, we're gonna get our chicken ready. So we're gonna take it out of the package. And now we're going to clean our chicken with some vinegar. Make sure you always clean your chicken. Yes, your guys. Your meat, whatever meat. It's very essential to clean your meat before cooking. Now I'm going to add some water to this. Okay, so now that we've washed our chicken, we're gonna let it sit a little bit on the counter and let some of the water drain off before we actually start cutting it and seasoning it. Okay, so be right back. Okay guys, so now we're gonna cut our chicken into reasonable sized pieces because we don't want it to take too long to cook. So this is definitely too big, so I'm gonna cut this in a half, right down the middle, split in the middle. Ooh, all right, that's a good enough size. This is already a good size, so that one could stay. Listen, I want my all, all my chicken pieces to be cooked all at the same time. And these breasts look very juicy. Mm -hmm. I also want all of them to fit in the pot at one time. This is very big and very thick. Yeah, this is too fat. Oh, it's about to be chicken fillet. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'm gonna add them back to my bowl. Add them in. Okay guys, so now the only seasoning I'm gonna be using today is my lemon pepper seasoning. Now. Now, if you don't have lemon pepper seasoning, all you need to do is add salt, garlic powder, black pepper, and a fresh lemon, and you will get the same taste as the lemon pepper seasoning. Oh, so but, those are the ingredients yeah, of the seasoning. But okay. I, I think most supermarkets now have this. Lemon pepper, yeah. But if you can't find it, just mix those ingredients, and it should be just the same. You should achieve the same taste. All right, so let me go in with this seasoning. And I want to make sure that every piece of my chicken breast gets some of this lemon pepper. Season it, season it up, season it. Okay, I think that's good. Ooh, that looked good already. Ooh, I'm ready for this fillet breast. Okay, so that's pretty much good. I am gonna leave this to let the seasoning soak in for about 10 minutes. So I'm actually gonna cover this and leave it to simmer. Make it Not marinate. Simmer, to marinate, yes. Ooh, all of the seasons and tasting and it'll just be delectable and just yummy and just juicy. Ooh, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> 
So guys, meanwhile, the meat is marinating and the seasons is, is seeping out in the pores so it can be juicy and delectable. After we finish cooking, we're gonna move on to preparing our seasonings that we're gonna need and also our asparagus. We're not wasting no time. We're gonna get to getting these ready. So guys, we need our garlic to be minced. So we have our food processor here and we're just gonna load them in. So we need garlic for the cauliflower mashed potatoes and also for our asparagus. Okay guys, so now it's time to get our cauliflower together. I'm gonna cut these into pieces, but first I'm gonna give it a quick wash underneath the pipe over here. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove these green stubs or whatever you wanna call them. I don't know if they have a name. You think they have a name, Craig? I have no idea. Guys, I'm so excited about this cauliflower mashed potato. Listen, this is my second time making it and that first time I made it, it was delicious. Listen, he let me try it. Ooh, it tastes just like mashed potatoes. It tastes just like potatoes from Idaho. Okay guys, so my cauliflower is all ready. I have a pot on the stove right here and I have also have this thing right here that I'm gonna steam my cauliflower in. Now you can either steam your cauliflower or you can just put it directly in the pot and boil it. But I feel like it comes out better when I steam it. So I'm gonna wait for my water to start boiling before I actually add my cauliflower. So it should be start boiling in the next about five minutes or so. So I'll see you then. Okay guys, so my water is boiling now. I'm gonna add my cauliflower. Ooh, steamy. I'm gonna add my cauliflower. Cause it's hot and steamy. Remember guys, you can boil it directly into the pot if you want. I prefer to steam it. And I'm gonna allow, I would say this would be done in the next 20 minutes. I'm gonna come back and check on it. And I'm also gonna add, come back and add some salt and black pepper. Okay guys, so I have my pot on the stove right here with my heat on a medium high and I'm gonna add some olive oil to the pot. I'm gonna add a generous amount. Then I'm gonna allow that to eat up before I start adding my chicken. Ooh, I'm ready. Listen, I am famished, I'm hungry, I'm ready for this food. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start adding my chicken breast now. My lemon pepper chicken breast. Ooh. Ooh, yes, baby sizzle. Sizzle, baby sizzle. Okay, so I'm gonna let these saute first before I add some more. Actually, I can put another one over the side right here. Well, you guys already know chicken breast don't take long to cook. So I'm gonna let the this side saute and brown a little bit, then I'm going to come back and flip them. Ooh, flip it. So I say about five minutes, let them saute for five minutes. On seven, then I'll be back. So our chicken breasts have been browning for about five minutes. We're gonna flip them over now and allow the other side to brown for five minutes. Guys, they smell so good already. Listen. The aroma is very much giving tangy, very citrusy, very juicy, very delectable. Ooh, I'm ready. And we're gonna allow these to brown for five minutes as well. Then we're gonna come back. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna add some black pepper and some salt to my cauliflower. Season it, season it up, season it. My ears. What's wrong with your ears? It's hurting because of you. You know I could sing. Don't even try it. I don't know. You nothing. know my voice is angelic. No, I don't know nothing. Don't play me. You sound like Latavia. Don't play me because you know she's Beyonce. Okay, Latavia. You know she's Beyonce. Latavia. You know she's giving Latavia. Beyonce. Don't play with me. Then we're going to cover that back and then we're going to come back and check on it in five minutes and see if it's at the right texture. Tenderness. Tenderness. Okay, guys, so my chicken breasts are finished on both sides. 
I am gonna take these out and I have three more pieces here. I am gonna fry those as well. My hands are clean. I always wash my hands. So guys, I'm gonna check my cauliflower now to see if it's done. To check if it's done, you want to slide your fork inside of it and if it goes right through, then it's done. Ooh, them they're ready. You don't want your cauliflower to be too mushy because you don't want no mushy mashed potatoes. So yeah, that's perfect. So I'm gonna turn the fire off now and I'm gonna get my garlic ready. Okay guys, so I have my pot on the stove. I'm gonna add some olive oil to that. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna saute some garlic and I'm gonna use this garlic to add to my cauliflower mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna saute some of this. I'm gonna saute it until it gets brown. That's a good amount. So guys, my garlic is finished sauteing and you want it to have this kind of like brown kind of thing like it's burning a little bit. I'm gonna add this to a container or I should say a saucer. Don't you see how it looks? It has some of the burnt, like the burntness in it. That's how it, you want it to look perfect. No sir, it needs to smell like olive garden. So guys, at this point we have all our chicken breasts into the pot. Everything is brown and ready. Now I'm gonna add half cup of hot water to the pot. Ooh, sizzle! Right? And I'm gonna move the chicken around a little bit. And I'm gonna allow this to simmer for a few minutes to before I add in. the rest of my ingredients. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it just like this and I'll be back in five minutes. Okay guys, so it's time to finally do our cauliflower mashed potatoes. Ooh. So I have my cauliflower right here. Yes, I'm, I'm ready. I'm gonna be using my food processor to do this. So let me get this over here. Ooh, it's hot. So I'm gonna start adding my cauliflower to the food processor. I'm gonna add half a stick of butter. Now guys, I want you to use real butter, okay? I'm gonna add that to the mix. I am going to add my garlic to the mix. Caramelized garlic. And I'm also gonna add some cheese to the mix. Ooh, sharp cheddar cheese. Honey. Actually, I'm gonna add a whole lot of cheese. Oh, a whole lot, a whole lot of cheese. A whole lot, a whole lot of cheese. Cause you know on keto, cheese is permitted, honey. All right, so let me cover that now, and then we are going to pulse that. Then we're gonna come back and ha add the rest of our cauliflower that we have. Gonna add a little bit more cheese to that. Ooh, this is gonna be cheesy, ooh. And we're gonna pulse that some more. Now check to make sure that all of your cauliflower is blending really good. Guys, look at this thickness. This is how you want your mashed potato to be. You don't want it to be watery. Now at this point, yeah, check if everything is blended. Now at this point, you can taste a little and see if you want to add any more salt to it or butter. Oh, this looks like real potato. Real potato from Idaho. Okay, so for me, I need some more salt. So I'm gonna add some salt. And I'm gonna add a little bit more butter too. Cause I love that buttery taste. Okay, add some more butter, add that in there, and then we pulse again. Mmm! Ooh, I wanna taste. Taste this great. Ooh! Oh, it's kinda hot! Ooh! Mmm! That's perfect, Tastes right? like real potatoes uh -huh. from Idaho. Uh-huh. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna transfer my cauliflower mashed potatoes. Guys, look at that thickness. When you're doing mashed potato cauliflower, you do not want it to be watery. It's supposed to be thick and nice. Ooh, that smells good! Okay guys, so our chicken breast is coming along great. Now we're gonna add one cup of heavy whipping cream. So that's a half. I'm gonna add a half more. Ooh, creamy. Now this is my favorite part. Now I'm gonna add my cheese, my cheddar cheese. I'm gonna add that all over. Guys, this is gonna be so tasty. Ooh, I'm ready. And I'm gonna put my stove on a medium low. You guys can smell this. I'm gonna allow this to simmer down and thicken up. So medium low, cover it and allow it to simmer down. Okay guys, time to finally prepare our asparagus. Listen, I am famished, I'm hungry, so let's go. We're gonna add some olive oil to our pot. Just a little. We're gonna allow that to heat before we add our garlic. Okay guys, so while our pot is simmering and the cheese is getting thick, and nice, we're gonna add some green onions to the mix, aka scallions. Ooh, spicy. 
spicy though. That's a good amount. This is gonna be so yeah, good, guys. Yeah, we're gonna guys. cover that back. Ooh. Okay, guys, time to add our garlic. Stir that up. Garlic smells so good when it's frying. Yo, in here smell like Olive Gardens, for real. Now we can add our asparagus, guys. Ooh. We're gonna kinda move them around a little bit. Make sure they all get oil on them. Okay guys, we're gonna allow these to saute for a little bit for like five minutes and then we're gonna come back and add our salt and our black pepper. Guys, I'm also gonna go ahead and add some parsley flakes to this. Ooh, fancy. Ooh. And I'm gonna let it simmer down for a few more minutes and then we will be done. Ooh, uh, listen, I am ready to eat. And the way how this kitchen is smelling, girl. Okay guys, time to finally add some salt and some black pepper to our asparagus. Ooh, these look good, honey. Those are gonna taste so good and So nice. good and crunchy. I'm gonna turn these off soon too because I don't want them to be too soggy. I like my asparagus to be crunchy and crispy, you know? Ooh, mix them in. Yes, they're almost done. Ooh, this is gonna be so good. So good, so good. So good. Okay guys, so the food is finally finished. Listen guys, I'm so hungry. We I are can't famished. wait to eat this food. We're gonna present it so you guys could see it and we're gonna have a little mini mukbang. Okay? Kiri, we're ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Guys, look at this. Oh my God, this looks so Ooh, amazing. This wow. is foodgasm. But look at this presentation. Wow, listen, I'm all for a good presentation. Like if the food looks good, I am gonna eat it. This looks so good. Kiri, Chris, let's go I'm eat. I'm so hungry. Let's go eat. Okay guys, so the moment of truth. It's finally time to <laughs> eat. Listen, let's say our grace first. Okay. God, God is good, good. God, God is great. Let us thank him for our food, amen. amen. I added a piece of avocado to mine because I'm on keto and I I need the avocado to up my fats. Listen. And guys, can you believe it's nine o'clock in the night and we haven't ate the whole day? Yeah, we've been just Listen. been editing and stuff. So but guys, ready. let's try the chicken first. Okay. Ooh, Ooh. very juicy and tender. Yes. Ooh, wait. I don't think y'all see the sauce. Look at this chicken, guys. Look at the sauce. <gasps> Come on, I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to eat. Come on. I'm ready too. Okay, let's right, so first let's taste it. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why are you playing in my mm -hmm. face? The zing of the lemon pepper. Okay, um, the with creaminess the, of the with cheese. The creaminess of the cheese. And oh my heavy god. Mm. Alright, the, the mashed potato now. The mm. cauliflower mashed potato. Mmm, wait. Try all of that now. They try the chicken. And wait, the wait, I need the asparagus. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm. Crunchy. Woo! God, I've outdid myself. Mm-mm. We have outdid ourselves. This is really good. Guys, this is an amazing low calorie. Mm. Low carb meal. Mm. So if you're on keto, this is definitely an amazing meal to make. Okay? This is really good. Really, very really good. Mm mm. Mm. Must probably some crispy and nicey. This is an in interesting combination: the cheese, with the chicken breast, with really the good. lemon pepper. It's really it complements it. Mm hmm. Cause you have a cheesy taste, and then you have a a, a, a citrusy zing. Mm hmm. Ooh, this is really good. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 And it's fairly a simple, easy meal, simple and fast. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is really good, Carrie. Mm. And mm. it's light, it's mm. not heavy, it's light. Yes, girl, listen. You could still be a skinny legend and eat this one, eat this meal. Listen, this cauliflower mash is better than a real mashed potato. Mm, I don't know about that, but it's really close. It's really close. 
Mmm, it's really close. Don't go for my cauliflower, Marco Zero. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Guys, I'm super proud of myself. Almost a month, no bread, no rice, no sweets. Um, you're acting like it's only you. I haven't had bread, uh, uh, I haven't had rice in so long. But you haven't been on keto like me, like full keto. I'm on one meal a day. Yeah, but it's not a keto meal for the most part. How are you gonna tell me what I eat? Because you eat bread and stuff. You eat, you eat stuff that has bread on it and things that have sugar. But that's not keto. Girl, I'm an old man. Mm. This meal though, no, this chicken. Really good. Mmm. 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 Mm. That cheese sauce is amazing. Mmm. Don't you just like when your asparagus is just crunchy and just. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This meal has my taste buds kicking. Wake my taste buds up, baby. Mm -hmm. And the thing I like about this meal, you're getting all your taste buds played with. Mm -hmm. It's very um, delectable. Mm -hmm. It's very satisfying, but it's not. It's not going to make you feel bloated and feel like you're filled up. That's what I like about this meal. Why are you always in my face when you're talking? I don't understand. Bro. You should be talking to the baddie or me. Get out my face. It's been 30 years of me doing that. You should be used to it. Mmm. 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 Listen, I'm hungry. I'm tearing this up. This is so good. This chicken is so good. So good, so good, so good. I hate to say it, but I. So good, so good, so good. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. My face is just in the plate. Mm. 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 That crunch? Mmm. 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 This chicken though? Mmm. Mmm. Amazing combination. The cauliflower don't even taste like cauliflower. I'm telling you. They don't. Jump on it. Hey! Mm. Mm. This is so good. Oh, I'm down to my last piece of chicken. Oh, girl, I, I don't know if I should eat it. Mm. It's gone. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Ima imagine when I warm up the, left the leftovers tomorrow, baby. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Who wants some? Comment your email address and I'll email you a plate. Mm -hmm. mm. Guys, empty. Now that's how you clean a plate. That was so satisfying. Mm, and my belly is kind of full. That was very. You spit on me. Sorry. That was very satisfying, guys. Oh my god. It's such a light, easy, airy mm -hmm. meal. Mm -hmm. I really like that. That was cute. She was really cute. Keto approved. She was really cute, girl. So guys, we want to thank you for watching this video. Make sure if you recreate this meal, you send us a picture or a video so we can see how good of a job you did. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so every time we upload a new video, we do what? We get a notification. You get a, you get a notification. And so you could watch. Or as the um the, the my little twins would say, a modification. A modification. <laughs> 
And as we always say, every day is another chance to slay. So slay, bitch. Slay, mama. What you waiting on? Slay. See you guys in the next video. See y'all tomorrow, okay? We love you guys. Wait, 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 wait. I know you wasn't about to leave without subscribing. And while you're at it, click the bell right beside it so you can know every time we upload a video. And girl, make sure you like this video, girl. And leave a comment down below, girl. Okay, girl? Okay. Right now. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins.